So Glenn, what are the three main points that you're standing on? Uh, the main three points I'll be standing on will be uh, transport, trying to find effective transport solutions. Um, obviously the uh, airport, the noise boundary expansion, I'm dead against any uh, expansion in the noise boundaries, and also growth, how we can uh, manage growth smartly to um, include everyone in its uh, benefits. You've mentioned airport expansion, that's obviously the biggest issue at the moment. What's your exact position on that issue? So I just don't want to see any more expansion on the noise boundaries. If you have a look at the uh, passenger rates now, it's just ticked over 2.3 million. There's more growth to happen even if we did stop the noise boundaries. And then they'll be uh, expanding their existing uh, terminal. So uh, that will probably be probably about just over 3 million there that they could probably get through there. And then you've also got to look at the um, Airbus 321. There's a 27% increase in passenger just by changing the, um, the aircraft. And what's your position on growth generally? Um, I, I view it as a good thing if it's done smartly and done well. Like it's got to be spread among all the people. So, and the way that can be achieved is having um, effective and efficient um, infrastructure in place. So, people with less means can still get about and be independent and uh, get to their jobs and um, and um, uh, look after them, look after themselves. Do you think tourism should stay as our main industry? Um, yes and no. Uh, it's a good industry if you're qualified, but it's like most things, we've sort of um, forgotten about the people that don't do well academically during high school. So if you've got a, a, a qualification in tourism, it does pay well, but yes, um, I'd like to see us leverage off tourism and grow other sectors of the economy in Queenstown. And finally, just tell us a little bit about your own history and what makes you emotional about living in this part of New Zealand. <sighs> emotional about living? Like, so I live in Frankton, I'm lucky enough to walk to work and work in Frankton and so when I'm walking to work and I look it up and see the Remarkables that's pretty much gets me emotional about the landscape and my connection to this place. Um, I'm an engineer I'm, and previously before that I was a surveyor so I've got in infrastructure expertise that I'd really want to put to, um, to the council office.